now it is becoming more and more difficult for believers to believe the truth. Why? Because the lie is so popular to the point that the truth is standing the test of doubt. People not doubt the truth because everybody is doing one single thing and you that is doing the right thing you're asking yourself am i sure i'm wrong am i sure i'm doing the right thing or i am wrong but i tell you the truth it was only eight people that got saved from the first world jesus christ said many are called but few are chosen many we want to enter but they will not be able to enter come out of her my people let me tell you why you need to come out of her look at revelation chapter 14 some of you have ganged up with criminals some of you have ganged up with this condemned criminal his own is finished how can you befriend someone that has been declared condemned oh because he has some good things to throw around because he's given money because he has a system in place in this world Oh, because he will no longer persecute you for a time. But the same one who will not persecute you now is the same one that is going to use these demons to torment you in hell forever. Sometimes in many prisons, when they want to destroy a criminal, when they want to destroy a prisoner, when they want to end his life, they tell him to make his last request. Some would say, I want to eat my best meal before I leave. Some would say, I just want to have a day for myself. Let me think about my life. I don't want to eat. Some would say, I want to get baptized. The foolish ones would say, I want to eat my best meal because the journey is far. No, the journey is not far. One bullet will take you to your destination. There is a condemned criminal on earth. He is moving up and down, toe and fro, looking for someone to devour. And a lot of people are following him because he has so many flashy things. Just like criminals make their last wish. So a lot of people have been given so many things. Oh, you are enjoying the benefits, the requests, the response to your last wish. Just as ritualists, they sacrifice some things. And they are told, let me tell you, this money you're going to have, you won't live long. You will live like three years and enjoy this wealth. They will say, yes, I just want to punish poverty. I agree. Give me the money. Give me the wealth. And let me go into the world and enjoy myself for three years. It's better to enjoy for three years and die young than live a hundred years and live in poverty. That is how a lot of our youths have been deceived. They are scamming people, engaging all sorts of atrocities in our nations. Because they believe that it is better to enjoy and die young than live long and die poor. And nobody wants to work hard again. Everybody wants to scam. Everybody wants to steal. And you have many of these mega churches scamming people, conniving with the enemy of God, the content criminal, to steal and deceive the children of God. Steal from God's children and deceive people into hell. 